Hi, this is John and welcome to another video. Today I'm demonstrating a new feature in Photoshop Elements 2020. And this is the ability to automatically colorize a photo. So I have this uh, black and white photo of two girls open in the editor. And to begin, we simply go to the menu by clicking Enhance and then choosing from the menu to colorize photo. Clicking on that brings up the colorize dialog and automatically the photo is enlarged and previews are generated in terms of four thumbnails. Um, you can choose whichever one you prefer by clicking on the um, individual thumbnails and the main image will update accordingly. As seen. I usually find that the first one gives the most pleasing result and I tend to stick with that one. So if you're happy with that simply click OK and the photo gets taken back at its original size in the expert mode and you can use the file save menu or file save as to save the colorized image. One little extra trick you can do is to go back to the Enhance menu and choose Adjust Colour, Adjust Colour for Skin Tone. And this new Adjust Skin Tone dialog appears and you can tweak the skin colours, but it will, it will affect the overall image. The beauty of this is that it activates the eyedropper, so you could click on different parts of the skin to see which gives the most pleasing result. Let's click on her nose this time. It doesn't really change, but as you can see, it's kind of warmed up the overall image. So what you can do is use these sliders to change the overall tone. So if I drag this to the left, you can see the difference it makes. And maybe adding the blush further gives a slightly pinker skin. You can also use this ambient light to either warm the t overall tones in the image by pushing it to the right or to cool the, over t or the overall tones by pushing it to the left. So if I move this to the right, you can see the image starts to, to warm up and pushing it to the left has the, has the reverse effect of cooling it down. But don't overdo it because it can get very, very ghastly as you can see here. So this is just an extra trick I'm showing you to improve the overall tones in your image. And simply click OK when you're done. If you don't like the results, you can go back to, to open and um, start again and perhaps choose a different thumbnail. Um, so there's lots of options here to give a very pleasing result. And I hope you like this new feature to immediately and automatically colorize your photos. I'm now going to take this a stage further and show you how you can switch from the auto mode to, to manual. So I've reopened the original black and white image. And again, we'll go to the Enhance menu and choose Colorize Photo. And again, the dialog starts to open and we get um, the first thumbnail chosen which I'm going to stick with and I'm going to switch this little rocker switch to manual and you can see that that now brings up some extra tools. So I'm going to use the quick selection tool to select the hat of the girl on the left just by dragging and it does a pretty good job. Might need just to add a little bit down here to get the entire rim of the hat and just clicking around, that will do. So what we can now do, having made that selection, we can use this droplet tool here to add a droplet to that selection. So clicking once activates the tool. And as you can see, we've got this little droplet icon and clicking somewhere in the hat, just about the center would do. And we're able to colorize it with any of the colors in this selection. So I'm going to go for this um, colour in the swatch here. These are the recommended colours and click on this orange colour. And as you can see straight away, the hat becomes colourised. 
And we can repeat this um, by making different selections on different parts of the image. Um, the last colour used, if you want to repeat it, is always shown to the right of the colour swatch. So if you want to use that precise colour again, just simply click on that last one used. So I can just simply go now to the menu, select and deselect, and click OK, and that takes it into expert mode. You can actually see that the selection wasn't perfect. There's a little little bit of grey edging here, so we may need to uh, be more precise in our selection. And what you can do when you um, make a selection, um, let's just go to the ordinary quick selection tool here to show you. You can use under the menu select, modify and expand the selection. And just by expanding it by one pixel or um, you know, repeating it to um, select, modify, expand, you may get a much more precise selection. Um, uh, but you'll obviously have to do that at the stage when you're in the manual mode. So just wanted to point that out to you, warts and all, uh, things that can go wrong. But this is a fairly intuitive new tool in Photoshop Elements 2020 for colorizing photos or colorizing parts of photos, changing the colors of garments, etc. And I hope you like it. Thanks for watching and bye for now.